we just had a crazy spring snowstorm dropped about 10 inches of super wet snow one liter of snow was 550 milliliters of water the coop took a beating and the net took some damage and we even lost power for 10 hours but thankfully the coop by design was easily repaired and the generator ran like a champ okay okay May 1st. At this point, the power had been out for about nine hours and we've been running the generator since just after midnight last night. Check out the generator's large wheels. I added those because the skinny ones were really hard to push through the snow and we never seem to lose power in good weather. The house and the garage each have their own 200 amp panel and they are isolated from one another except for one outlet in the garage that is wired to the house panel. This is useful for backup power because it feeds the in-floor heat pumps in the shop and provides an emergency power outlet. That outlet is being used to keep this little guy happy as well as the incubators running. Because the backup power is not automatic I have a pair of power outage alarms in the house. These little gadgets are terrifyingly loud but brutally effective and reliable. Jeez! Holy heck! Oh, that was a huge gust of wind! Stainless steel screw eye. Good thing I got a spare. Yeah, pretty crazy that got bent. We got the net repaired. Went pretty good all in all. Did make a small change though. Added an extra cable right here and right here. So now where you see four cables, there were just two before. I'm thinking it's a Hoth themed May the 4th this year. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is Hoth a frozen planet? Oh, is that the one where he uh, cuts open the creature and yeah, exactly. survives by living inside? Okay, okay. Do you want to cut open yeah, one thanks. of our geese? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what a stainless screw eye is supposed to look like. And a bunch of unbent conduit holders. They got big. Oh, oh, here, Charlotte. Gonna manually turn on the heater cables for a little bit today. Get another test of the uh, snow melting abilities. By having all these loops put through this pipe, it distributes the weight a lot better than staples and nails. So the net actually didn't tear anywhere. <clears throat> and there's a quick look at how everything's held together. Half inch EMT conduit through these three quarter inch holders. The holders are bigger because they allow the conduit to be slid in and out for uh, easy tensioning or removal or repair. I also got this truck stuck today, but I'm not gonna show you that. I got it out. Yep. Slid off the driveway. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> 